I'm excited because today a lot of the things we've learned correlate really well with what I'm going to be talking about. And I wish I could be a student in NOW's school system, so much cooler. But my name is Luke Doster. I am the program manager for Epic at UCCS. I help students build and start entrepreneurial ventures. And today I want to talk about the identity crisis going on in our students. So what is the issue we're looking at? Well, K-12 students are deeply engaged in identity construction during these schooling years. And yet, as a school system, we often overlook these opportunities. Now, everybody in this room is kind of an outlier based on being in this conference. But this is a problem because after interviewing over 500 students that just graduated from high school, 75% of them said that they were moderately, slightly, or not at all prepared for the future after high school. And that's not okay. You just spent 12 years educating these students, and they don't know what they want to do. Now, how did we get here? Well, the traditional learning system has been in place for thousands of years, and it's a very effective learning system in a lot of ways. But it is very standardized, it is rote, and focuses a lot on memorization. Now, again, it's a great system with a lot of pros, but it's not allowing for creativity and stifles, uniform, or it creates uniformity within the students themselves and neglects that individuality. It's like learning inside of a box. So how do we open up that box? So the modern learning system was introduced into the market and allows students to step out of that box and experience learning in the real world and what those educational tools actually mean. And these are more project-based and student-centered learning models. Now, this system is also not perfect and it's a lot more challenging for teachers as they have to put a lot more effort into these educational systems. But in combination with the traditional learning methodologies, they're very powerful learning and educational systems and provide a lot of knowledge. But one piece is still missing, the identity. Who are we in relation to this world around us? And so the value-based approach was created and kind of provides a fence or a framework around that exploration process. But whose values do we use? What values do we instill within our students? So today, I want to introduce the entrepreneurial virtues that are a result of the research of my boss, Dr. Tom Denning, over at UCCS. And we're going to get into these virtues a little more later on. But first, I want to talk about how did these virtues even come to be in the first place. So the first concept is ecological psychology, which is the thought that the world and that interactions within the world shape who we are and who we become. And these are very important because as we interact, we learn and then change our actions based on those thoughts. Next, I want to talk about positive psychology, which is the thought that we can nurture and identify strengths within students in order to allow them to really figure out who they are in relation to the world and what they're really good at so that we can encourage them to continue down those paths. Those two concepts come together into what we call the entrepreneurial identity or the thought process of who am I in relation to the others around me and how can I continue to bring value to the world around me and it kind of provides a guide rail for those educational processes. So now the virtues. The first, creating value for others and this allows students to put value out into their society in their social circles, right? They are working within their families, within their churches, within their organizations and creating value for others and those around them. But they must respect the value judgments of the markets. Just because you deem something valuable does not mean somebody else does. And you must respect those understandings and then change your actions based upon that feedback. And then we have honoring contracts and promises. This is super important in a modern society. We must have integrity as a societal group. If you say you're going to do something, finish it. If you're going to commit to a project, don't leave your other students hanging. Super important to have that sort of integrity. Resourcefulness and optimism. We all have goals, we all have dreams, we all have objectives, but we don't always have the resources needed to accomplish those goals and objectives. So how can we pull together the resources we do have to reach our goals and our objectives? Resilience and the ability to rebound from failure. Failure is the most potent educational tool we have available to us, and yet most of our students, most of our society is crippled of the fear of failure. They're so scared to step out of the box. That needs to change. So in summary, our education system is not broken. It's simply missing a vital piece, the identity creation component. And with the entrepreneurial virtues, I believe we can help students figure out who am I? How do I relate to the world around me? But how do we do that? Where do we go from here? It all starts with you. You are the educators. You are the people working with these students on a daily basis. You have the opportunity to implement these virtues into your own life, and they can learn through you. So 
In closing, there we go. In closing, information is not nearly as impactful when it's just learned, when it's experienced. So a lot of us may know that our parents tell us the stove is hot, but it's not till you burn your hand on the stove that you understand what hot truly means. So let's burn the hands of our students and teach them why they need to know information. So thank you all so much.